Uh, we were engaging in jest. Uh, to, yes. Uh, he will die. <laughs> okay, you're <laughs> oh, that's right. You can't fly. Oh, yeah. That's why she can turn into a raven. That's right. I forgot. You're a druid, not a wizard. Yeah, they're they're they're, you're, <laughs> they're <drooling. laughs> Leave the key, leave that little guy alone. <laughs> Fuck is you gonna do if I don't? Turns into what stars. <laughs> Turns into a star bird. Yeah. All right. So yeah. I assume we are now on the way to the mountain. <laughs> yes. Uh, also, Whoa. you're fine. You can turn into a raven. Yeah. <laughs> so, you all head up to the mountain range, and with Engineer's guidance, you all find yourself landing uh, in a small sort of rock face. Um, I would like everyone to place their tokens on the board anywhere but yonder. So, so now we're past that line. Yeah, we're past that line. Poggers. So, we're, we're, so which, which been, way? Over here also, or I over change, here? I changed my token. Child, that is exactly the spot where I said not to. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was the joke. <laughs> Spite. Uh, she, 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 she did say no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have changed my token just a little bit. No, you, you know, Cassie's right. It did specify. You just said it's okay. I'm dumb too. So in front of you all sits a cave. There's a small like little campfire out there. There's a bit of tenting and the like. But out of the cave walks that young man who requested you all to appear here. And I say young, but he's not young. So uh, you all finally arrived. <clears throat> I was wondering if you'd actually show up. I was wondering oh, that too. More faithless than that. Well, I mean, uh, here we are. Yes. Yep. Well. 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 I don't see any wells. Yeah. Of here we are. And, um,. Yeah. I've done a bit of scouting ahead of the sort of expedition up there. Following this path will lead us into the volcano's core and to the thing that I need to have a look at and potentially take care of. Why are we walking? Can we just, can we, can we just keep flying? Mm. You could, but then the sulfur would choke you out of the sky. Fair enough. I am back. Apologies, I don't want my dog. All right. Welcome back, nowhere. What have I missed? Uh, Jason came out of his cave. By the way, without any armor on, just in his pants. Oh. He's just, he just. Yeah. How chiseled are, are his abs? I'm yes. Just, this is yes. strictly oh, like. God. This is strictly a question for for Sviete's sake, right? Uh, no, no, I mean like. Okay. Yes. Did we describe no, that in the last more, more, like, <laughs> he's, he's shit, more shit, like brick house or something like that. Muscle muscle builder being like, oh, nice, good work there. I you know keep the work uh, out. He is you know. Brick you know, shit so house. That's what he said. Links three different times. Oh my god, you could slice meat on that. Yeah, Where basically. Where the hell are your clothes? I uh, wanted to relax a bit. Excuse me, I don't really like wearing armor all the time. I, mean, I can see that. Oh, shirt on. They have invented this thing called the t-shirt. Yes, and I don't happen to wear one. But you have armor? Hmm. Yes, I wear a shirt under that, under the chain mail, the chain mail, then the plate mail. So but the shirt's gone. Off. Look, I just came oh. back from a water spring, okay? Ooh, we got hot springs on here? With the man over his lack of attire, we have more important business to attend to. It yes. would be much appreciated. Much appreciated. Please. We probably should get going, though. Mm. Right. Look, give me a moment to gear up, and I'll need you to play up. Ugh. So, so, um... 
Jade like whispers over to Shiel. So th th there's a question. If he's not wearing pants right now, who's wearing the pants in the relationship? What are you talking about? He has <laughs> pants on. No. He has pants what? on. No. He does have pants. What? Yeah, he just doesn't have a shirt on. Oh, shirt. Sure. Right. My bad. Um, yeah, you are filthy. <laughs> he's like coming at us with fucking full, full dong <laughs> showing. I did not say that. I, I was making a... Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. So he comes back after a while, his armor on, his cape like, being readjusted as he comes up. On the way, I will explain to you what is here. And why it's here, and the particular reason as to why I've asked you all to come here. An old friend of mine, as he starts walking, and I, we came across a creature at one point, a sort of sentient suit of armor. It's uh, ambushed us in a forest one. Used a lot of the similar powers as to I did. Honestly, I didn't really think much of it other than something that was, well, like me, and threats, really. It wasn't until later into my journey I realized that it was me. Well, me that failed at something. Failed at keeping someone safe I cared about. Huh. That sort of failure caused it to attach to an inanimate host, one entirely more powerful than a mortal flesh like mine. Hmm? Yes? Uh, just, you know, if you're trying to see if, like, he's, like, if it seems like he's telling the truth or he's bullshitting. Um, no, you can't, can't quite tell. <laughs> oh. But he, he's telling you a compelling story, nonetheless. It is pretty compelling. Hey. It passes the time. That being said, an old friend of mine, as I'd learned when I became the God of Darkness, sealed one of them. What? I say one of them. There were a few of them. In fact, one that I consumed, or at least brought into my body after accepting what it was, was only one of three. Apparently this one here has a much larger chunk of that power. One that is, well, at least according to Vikra, necessary for me to attain my rightful spot as a god. Hmm. It shouldn't be too crazy. We should just be able to head up there, and I should be able to gain the power that I need, and we'll be able to go. That also should, in theory, take care of all that necromantic energy leaking out into outer-lying area, and affecting the climate. We're still walking and talking, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, just now Y'all get up to about here, and, uh, he stops for a moment. Any, uh, any questions? So what do we plan to do with this, uh, sentient armor? Well, if all goes right, nothing bad will happen. Good. But no, we aren't walking bad at all. But... Things do go bad. Oh, what's the goal here? Like, how do we stop it? Are we gonna just destroy it outright? Is <laughs> my boy, we weren't even able to kill it. No, it was. You'll see. You'll see. Trust me. Well, I say trust me, but you'll find out when you get there. <clears throat> I guess my question is, is that um. What do you mean by we? What do you mean? Well, you, you, you insinuate that there's this more than one person that encountered this thing. Yes. It was my friends. The 
You don't know this story, now do you? Not entirely. You don't know the story about the heroes of legend? How they went about Copia and attempted to bring peace to all that could need it? How they aided storm giants in their decades-long civil war, how they single-handedly attempted to bring peace to Copia, but horribly failed. I re recall that, s that most of them died during that battle, but some survived. Is that correct? Yes, I did. Hmm. But there's more to the story. Sure. Bright Soul will tell you at some point. Guessing he was part of that uh, group as well? Very much so. Come along. Hmm. This way. Lead us up the side of the mountain ridge. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Jay's looking over, um. Is it right for me to say she has this? Um. Uh, uh, no. Did, did you know what I was going to say? I can guess. What's your guess? But there's a reason. Alright. What, 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 what's your guess? Uh, I'm not sure. Alright, fine. Well, knowing you, it's, you probably know what it is, so. All right. Well, continue up this mountain ridge, and as you start to look down into the volcano, you see that there is what appears to be a prison sitting on the layer of magma. It holds this sort of dormant, pitch black suit of armor. Mm. Uh, off to its side seems to be this sort of gnarled and twisted greatsword, kind of pierced as it sits on its knees holding on to it as this sort of magic circle kind of holds it in place. Sort of spectral chains kind of binding it on every single direction. Vicar points, or no, Vic, uh, Victor points, wow. Vicar, Jason, <laughs> points. Yeah. Points it out. That, my dear friends, is a creature that we so did deal with. Uh, in your head, Virian, you say, you hear Virian go, it's hard to tell this far away, to be honest with you. Sure. You all get a little bit closer, and I would like everyone to please place their character tokens on the outer ring. Okay. You do not mind. <clears throat> okay. Not at all. That's not what I wanted to do. What does a 20 Arcana tell us, Zonus, about what's going on here? A 20 Arcana, what is, huh? what is the nature of this creature? It is... A being that has potentially existed in your understanding for a long time. It is... Something of a interdimensional creature. What existing from the plane of Mechanus. But other than that, it seems different. Like, it doesn't seem entirely like it should, you know? Is there any There's something off about like, it. Is there any immediate, like, feelings he gets from this thing? Not that you can tell, no. The magic seems to be suppressing a lot of what it is. Personally. Hard to say what this thing even is, but one thing's for clear, it is not from here. About the same thing, JD. Actually, I, I was gonna investigate the, I was investigating the circle. Oh yeah, it is a ceiling glyph. Whatever this is, it's designed to keep that creature here for all of the turn. Ah. 
So if this thing is supposed to be trapped here, how is it causing all this mess with the black snow? I'm guessing well from the um Is the seal weakening or something? That might be case. The seal is a selenic bond. That's at least what I've been told. It waxes and wanes in strength with the changing phases of the moon, with the waxing and the waning portions being stronger. It will hold, of course, provided that there's no outside intervention. I need to open it to be able to take what is rightfully mine. Pardon? He says he needs to open it. Yes. I don't like the sound of that. That is a particularly interesting verbiage you have employed there, my friend. And how do you suppose we open the, the, this seal? Well, it's three steps. There are two arcane sort of markers that are on either side of this. You need only sever the bonds that hold them together. And then the rest of the seal is just... He pulls out like a scroll. Release with a command word. Would that even be wise with the state that the moon is in? That's kind of the reason why. Jason, I'm going to need you to be straight with us here for a second. Sure. What are you looking to get from this? What are you looking to take back, as you say? <sighs> if you want us to help you, you're going to have to be straightforward with us. No riddles... No beating around the bush. I was the last of an order of knights. This creature harbors a portion of that power that I need. Well, that Vikra says I'll need. To hold my status as a divine being. As I am right now, I'm just a incredibly powerful individual thinks that this creature has the wherewithal to push me that much further. At least for them to recognize me as well. So you're like his trainee right now. In a way, yes. He wants to me to take over. To that? What, what, what'd you say? I said, what does a 27 insight say to that? <clears throat> 27. If you want to tell me in uh, PMs or like in Whisper, that's fine. Can I flash of genius that to a 31? <laughs> oh my god! I honestly don't know why you... But... That should be fine. All right. Okay, flashing uh, that to a 31. My god. Oh my goodness. If you want, yeah, if you don't want to divulge to the rest of the group and just me, that's fine. That's... Even if it does, that's okay. I mean, it seems like he's telling the truth. Oh, <laughs> I love that word. The word seems. It definitely seems like he's telling the truth. He's not like a being withholding any information. He's answering as you're asking him. Let's wait to use the flash and insight later on when we have him in a different set of questions. Ah, uh, that's not how that works. Oh. <laughs> this is not Baldur's Gate. You can't, you can't do that. You can't. We you don't can't. have save states here. You yeah, can't man. load the quick save there. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell you all are a bit uh, at odds. What I want to do. Well, it's somewhat concerning. Uh. Because that thing is very large and scary. <laughs> oh, this? <laughs> you should have seen the other one. Uh, that doesn't dissuade my concerns. That just makes it worse because there's another one. <laughs> they, they, they remember, yes. Probably said three. That one was banished back to Mechanus. Mm. So that just leaves this one. Yes, that one, the other one, the larger one, I've already dealt with. This is the last one. Ah, okay. However, while that one was larger and had a more dense pool of that energy, 
this one is significantly harder to deal with. Oh. This is why you brought us along. This was mine. This was the one that that failed, fortunately. Bonded to. I see. It shares a lot of my knowledge, my combat prowess, and I'm not sure in my current state I could take it on. At least alone. Hmm. Well, no. I personally still feel uncomfortable about the situation. Uh, Understood. If my wife has, has taught me anything, you don't get anywhere by not doing anything. <laughs> Jay's gonna try like head towards the area. Okay. Try to remember how much movement I have. Or do I have free Very movement? Uh, free movement to a point. Free movement to a point, gotcha. Mm -hmm. okay. What's the rest of it? What's everyone else think? I'm just so like... Oh, and what would happen, of course, when you do get all this in the end? We are here says he's going to trade me. Help me hone the abilities that I have currently. That's the idea. And what of the people of Yusam? Well, we need to thrust our duties into your hands, but well, we came to Yusam is my domain. It's part of my responsibility to take care of it. As one of the few gods that are still active in the plane. Think of it. My people are all right. Think of this as like his trial. The snow. We are here primarily to solve it. The necrotic energies. You would be able to pull those out and save them, yes? Of course. Yeah. They're not just your people. Of you have two natives here. Three. Your home. Well. It's just. I've never, I've never worried about anything in my life. I've faced this thing before, and well, it's dreadful how powerful it is. If we are to prepare for battle here against this thing, would it not be wise to set up? Zonus looks to the rest of the party. After all, rushing blindly into something has never ended well for us. Good point. Think of the times we've had a moment to sit and prepare. Not many. Okay, yeah, uh, I'm gonna just do this real quick. <laughs> Can I uh, actually do that? Prep and stuff? I cannot speak for the rest of my team, but I am still a little trepidatious towards an alliance with you. Given the nature of the power you wield, it's, for me, a little unnerving. Mm. Dark mirror sort of thing. But... If it means to save the people of uh, the lands that I've come to love, then well, emotion drives action a little more than thought. So I use two spell points to get my border on, and then one for a uh, mage armor, right? Just promise me that. Of course, if something does go wrong, you'll let us know, yes? You're not going to keep us in the dark if a hiccup happens or what have you. I will do what I can to make sure you all end this conflict relatively unscathed. Good. I cannot promise I know you that can't this creature will be receptive to what's about to happen to you. Of course. I'm not saying, you know, keep everyone here without a shred of harm, but... Mm. We'll do our best to assist you. We just ask you to do so in kind. Aye. All right, formations! Mm. Okay, so back to my question. Two spell points for I would my... say you'd get one spell. 
unless you're going to spend all your spell points. To do. What? So I would say you would get one spell in this setup period. Don't use Blur. Don't use Blur. Varian, if I might make a suggestion, as yep. Onus actually points out over here. Since the majority of us will be fighting over on this side, he points over to the other, the other corner. You will have a relatively easy access to its back there. Yeah, Iku, what best do you perform with these new talents? The front, flanks, hit and run? Please understand that if you all did not want to do this, I'd be leaving already. I will stand where I'm standing now and do what I can. That is it. Un understood. Godric, Shio. It appears we are the back line. He won't get past me. You can bet you. Hell yeah. All right. And Dishonus is going to use his first free summon of the day to summon the dowry. And it'll drop hither. So it's a two spell points for my blur thing? I think so. Yeah. If I might see it increase in its size. The big boy to be big. <laughs> Vicar, if you don't mind, I'm not sure how intense this thing's physical brawn is, but if you could use the automaton here in some aspect to mitigate the incoming attacks, do let me know. I have a psychic connection to it. I'll be able to move it with mere command. Um, honestly, whatever you can do would probably be better than nothing. And, uh, he starts walking around and he lifts his hand as some of the like dark magic that he has in his body kind of seeps out into the seal. Mm. When the first seal breaks, you watch as the chain start to wrap from around it and loosen as its body starts to like, like struggle and jerk against the uh, the chains itself. I hope you are all ready, yes? I'm good to go. Uh, I choose to use enlarge on the dowry. Yo! Whoa. Kick a Bucky, pog, babe. Uh, uh, are you going up? Up. So it goes from large to huge, correct? Yes, sir. Oh, it's going to be of a... It's basically... Okay. You are maintaining about. concentration on said spell. Okay. Good thinking. Besides so that, now, I... Now, large, does it gain an extra... Let's, did you it post it the should. Spell? Yeah. Mm. Extra damage. That's it's from large, large, medium to large, damage. large to medium to huge. There isn't enough room for it to double its size. The creature object attains the maximum possible size in space. Until it ends, it has advantage on strength and strength saving throws. Target's weapon grows to match it. These new enlarged weapons, they deal an extra d4. Does yeah. it get any like, AC bonuses? No. Okay. Still 17. Which is still pretty good. Uh, still 17. <laughs> Alright. Anyone else have any setup that they want to do? Well, you said... Uh, you said I... Mm. Let's go ahead, sorry. You said I'm going to do one spell, right? Rescue? One action. Yes. One spell. Alright. Just making sure. Yeah, then I'm fine. And he starts walking around. Yeah, so I... For prep, I have, like, magic weapon as immediate thought. I am debating heroism, but I don't think I'll need it. But it's temp HP, so... Temp HP is pretty good, though, and, it's, and it helps more than one person. Worst case, I'll do it in the middle of the fight. I also don't know, like, I are, magic weapon is a bonus action, and I don't think I'm getting a twofer, even if I burn extra magic points. Well, you only let me have one spell, so... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I'm gonna go with magic weapon for now. Okay. As he starts circling around, the seals start to like snap and break as these chains start to like rattle and strain and creak against this creature. Um, can everyone? Mm -hmm. hey. Wisdom saving. Wisdom saving. Wisdom saving. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh no. Good roll, keys day. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, oh, wait, that, that sound was a zone, it's not me. 
Why do you get the mine like a steel trap? Because I had not got Damn. Enough. You all uh, start baby, what feeling happened? this uncomfortable sensation of dread. I already felt that. Everyone under what? As the seal breaks and pitch black flames start to erupt from the ground where it stands. And it lifts the great sword up. And it points it at Jason. You. I have waited for this day. And I too, old friend. I've brought guests. That they may assist us. <clears throat> Bring whoever you'd like. We'll all end the same. And it takes this sort of crouching stance as its blade kind of points directly at him. So who's ready for some initiative? Definitely. Let's fucking do it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that one, baby, let's go! Ah, Can you let's guys, fucking go! Can you luck point? Woo! Nat one. Let's rock! Can I, can I use luck Jesus, point? Jesus, yeah. I honest. Can I use a luck, a luck point for this? For ability checks. Please. You said so 20s, yeah. you said 20s. <clears throat> I got uh, it. It's for ability checks, but this yeah. is an ability check, so. Fuck. So now on. That's why you get uh, jack of all trades on. Well, <laughs> then I... my roll's doing that thing again where it's not popping up. You gotta click on your token when you. Yeah, do you gotta click on your token. Uh, mm -hmm. Hold on. Mm -hmm. But I one moment I will also I I forgot I I bought a baguette today in honor. So we can I'm just add the one. we can just add the ten point two to his initiative. Yeah? yeah, we can. Yeah, I can. Okay. Just give that to him. A question, does a flash of genius apply to initiative? No. Okay. I'm getting really fucking saucy with those. That would have been nice yeah. if it had it, but no. <laughs> you, can, oh boy, you, you, you got a 26. How much more can you get? He was going to do it no. for one of us. No, I was going to I was going to add it on to I was going to add it on to Varian's initiative. Oh. Popping up above uh there. Yeah. <laughs> Watch your footing, boy. Kind of kind of shit. Oh yes, thank you. And like, fucking, I, I suddenly get do like Muhammad Ali shuffle. Okay, Dad. <laughs> okay, Dad. <laughs> okay, Dad. <right. laughs> so, is everyone okay. in the initiative queue? I think I'm just missing Godric. Huh? I He's there. Godric. He's there. Four, one, okay. Four. I have just. I have more than a baguette. I have slices of cookie cake and cheese and pepperoni. Okay. Damn. Is everyone? One. I'd say if that's everyone. Oh. All right. Wait, there's the um the the thing, the, the this thing. God, this music is loud. I need to turn it down a little bit. Yes, it is. Did um, is there an initiative for this thing, or does it happen after after uh, um? What's up? The the the, the, the automaton. You are way too quiet today. <sighs> Fuck off. Uh, is is the is is the automaton have an initiative? No, it goes immediately after. Uh, yeah. Okay. Sorry, I don't know why it's so quiet today. So, Isotis, you get your first crack at it. All right. Can can we play the dark side theme? <laughs> so let's see here. I'm trying to look and see what I got. I hate it here. Mm hmm. So, I am gonna cat. So, Zonus is gonna level his revolver, his spell slinging revolver, his spell shard. Okay. Okay. And so, pointed with his left hand, he is going to mm -hmm. be casting. Let's see here. <coughs> I just fucking had it. Hold on. Where is it? Here it is. Uh. Dark side theme or. Hey, Alvis. Respectfully, Sorry. I don't need comments from the peanut gallery today. Apologies. Thank you. Apologies. <clears throat> what you got for me? And that is a... How do I measure a sphere in this? Uh, Nine, you will need... Circle. Yeah, I... Yeah, the circle. All right. I know what I'm casting. What you got for him? I'm gonna hit this motherfucker with shatter! 
Shatter does. Let's see here. I've got second levels. 15 saving throw, or it's going to take 14 thunder. 15 saving throw? What spell level is this? This is second level. A creature made of inorganic material has disadvantage on this saving throw. I'm going to be right back. Uh, it saves. Even so on it takes mm -hmm. It saves. Or half as much on a save on a on a good save. So it's taken seven. Okay. So he he levels the revolver and fires this sort of little pin. The pin mm -hmm. sticks. It explodes into that fucking shockwave. And let's see here. I gotta pull up void fires. Let's see here. Do I have any bonus actions I can do after that? Let's see here. Sorry, I'm like I'm like still sort of sorting through. It was a bonus action because he's still got the booster set in. He's gonna slot out the booster, and he's gonna insert his uh, he's gonna insert the the uh, the actual like force ballista, the projectile, into his eldritch cannon. Okay. Something now. Yeah, Void Fire's turn? It is, yes. It is going to attack with Interjection Ray. And the ability okay. you gave it. Mm -hmm. 1d4 force, it's just doing one force. A small beam <laughs> fires from its eye. It deals one damage? Yes. <laughs> it, it, it deals one damage? Yes. That, that, that's better than zero, you know? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. it's literally when I don't have a spell that it can it can mirror. And I don't, I don't want to waste the extra spell points to mirror. It's just extra, just kind of chip. Yeah, in. yeah. So let's see here. That was three spell points off. I went from fourteen to eleven, and that is the end of my That's turn. That's a cool thing. It's like he's in burnout in the SF six. You're just chipping at him, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the end. Yeah. yeah. So all of this happens, yeah. Yeah. And you kind of watch as it turns and it looks at you. So you make the mistake of trying to strike. And it uses its legendary action on you. Uh -oh. oh, no. <laughs> oh, boy. Thank you. Probably. So depending uh, on what it, it is. Points, think, yeah. And it starts to wreath you in this swirling black and red magic. Um, you now count as a dark knight for its uh, features. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. <laughs> is that your turn, Izonis? Do you have anything else here? Uh -huh. He remembers to help the pain. <laughs> uh -huh. What the fuck did you do? I return. Izonis is gonna move away, realizing he has been marked with something. Alright, stay away. I'm not sure what it's doing, but I don't want you to find out. The tank buster. <laughs> Yeah, he's moving the fucking tank. <laughs> you have no idea what's about to happen. Well, I do. Uh, okay, if something's gonna fucking happen, he's gonna make sure that Shael and Godric are not at the immediate line of fire about it. So I'm gonna hold you. Uh, all I know is, I maybe someday I'll get to use my intervene feat. I've not gotten the show yet. So. Oh yeah. I I'm praying. <gasps> oh, is honest. Oh god. You have like no idea what's about to happen. I don't think I like the sounds of that. First things first. Alrighty, let's see what we got. It attempts to take some strikes at Jason first. Alright. That. that hits. And that hits. And Jason takes an excessive amount of it. How much is Fucking excessive? Ridiculous. I cannot tell you that. All I can tell you is I'm about to roll five D sixes plus eight. Oh my god! Oh I can't tell you that, but I will tell you that. <laughs> well, you didn't tell us. You just let us know a vague idea. So it's 10, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18. 18. And then for the second hit, six. 14. 
25, 22. So he takes 40 damage. Mm. Ooh. And then it levels its blade and points it at his own. Uh oh. Again. Azonis, hi. Hi. A, um. This hits, but I have to do it for the meme. A 28 hits you, right? <laughs> Even with shield, yeah, it hits me. Wait, 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 hold on. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, wait. I need. If I, I've not gotten to ever fucking show it. Let me, let me just read here and display. So, when you were another creature within five feet of you, I need yes. to be like right next to you. Yeah, you're five feet. Yeah, man. And you, 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 you're like right, right, right here, and you try to jump five feet, you fall in the lava and die. No, I'm aware. <laughs> Do I literally have no reaction abilities that, aside from shield that I could have possibly taken? Uh -huh. I think oh shield God, is the only one, yeah. I I literally have not. Yeah, I have nothing. Do you guys hear me a bit better now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, you're good. You can add it. Uh, do you know how to add it in the compendium? Uh, yeah, I search it yeah. up on the thing or whatever. Uh, if I can find the search. Thing. Um, can you make a cost uh, strength saving throw for me? No, I'm not even gonna pass. I'm pretty sure the DC of that was like really fucking high anyway, so flashing that to 12 would have meant nothing. You all watch as this knight levels the blade, brings it back behind its head, and hurls its great sword at his own. What the f oh no! Pinning him to the wall under the weight of the blade. Oh um, shit! You are oh, about no. to take a bunch of damage. Oh fuck. Has it. this impaled anything on him? This, this it is, is right just impaling you. Ah! Right, but I'm, I'm talking like, is this like, is it through his chest? Is it through an arm? It is through your gut. Hmm. Jesus Christ. 11. That is 13. Uh, 18, 21. This is gonna be 30 piercing. Ouch. I am at 17 health. Additionally, because you failed the saving throw, you are considered restrained. And you will take 10 necrotic damage at the start of your next turn. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. Okay, I'll use some Wait, I'm, not, I'm not on the, the, the initiative. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not on the initiative. Oh, is JD not in the initiative? Yeah, I'm not. I'm I was there. wondering. Like, I feel like I forgot somebody. What's somebody. Hold Wait, on, I don't. I don't think I'm in the initiative up. either. Hold on. Let me scroll up and see if. Yeah, we're not there. Rolled. Yeah, uh, JD rolled a four and Virian rolled an eight. Yeah, so neither of us were on there on the turn order. Yeah, we should be seeing them after Shyel. After Shyel, yeah. Fuck. That's an easy fix. Don't worry. Uh. What the hell? I clicked my token hit initiative and everything. Why would it, why didn't get added? I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes it does it. Sometimes it does that. Roll 20 is weird. Roll 20 is weird. Yeah. Oh, we All right. Wait. <sighs> that is this creature's turn. Oh, boy. Jason, having watched this, uh, immediately leaps in front of uh he starts sprinting and immediately leaps in front of Asterius and JD. Go! Now Understood. And uh he's going to use his provoke action to make sure the next attack hits him and not Izonus. Cool, alright. I'm sad. I wanna fucking and use that. That's going to be uh Jason's turn. Asterius. Yes, you're okay. Done. I am shitting and crying and sobbing and sobbing and crying and shitting. I what? It's toilet paper. No. Uh. So wait. So hear me out. I am not physically possible of reaching a zonus currently, whether it be through walking or jumping across that for whatever reason. Actually, oh, what's up? What's poppin'? If you start running. Yeah. 
And you get to about there. Yeah. You can take a running long jump and land there. How fucking you yeah, have and the I, strength to do it. I don't have uh, that's five feet or, or ten, okay. Uh well, you know, I have eighteen strength. Well, uh, if it's fifteen, you leap this, and then you'll yeah. have the rest of your movement for fifteen to get there. That's good for okay. a biscuit. <laughs> So, what I'm hearing is there's a chance. Yep. So, you're saying there's a chance. Yes! I am saying there's a chance, yes. <laughs> Would I be rolling a save to not fall and. It's a it running long it? jump. It's a running cool. long jump. It's something you can just do. Sick. All right. Sick. In that case, I'm fucking doing that. Uh, <laughs> Head empty. Yay! Point jump. <laughs> right. Uh, okay. So, buddy, we're getting out of this alive. Uh, I'm going to. I don't. How much damage did he take? Yes. Again? Thirty. <laughs> thirty. Thirty. Oh, yeah. You bet you're a bippy. Uh, what if I just like drop thirty of my lay on hands into your heart immediately? You, would you very well man could. Very happy man. I was I mean, you very well could, but there's a huge issue. The eight and foot long great sword sticking out of his gut. You're right. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah, that is very fair. Uh, I, st I still have my action and bonus action. Yes. Uh, uh, I'm looking at an enhance ability and I'm reading a wall of text. Uh, <laughs> what could I do to help Just... get that out of my friend? I don't know, maybe fucking pull it out of him? Well, it no, because okay. then he'll bleed to death. Well, like, what? fair, but it's eight feet. Fucking, it's giant. I don't know if I can... You have an 18 it. strength. You know how fucking powerful 18 strength actually is? No. Very, <laughs> very, very strong. I want to let you know that you yeah. could probably tear down a uh, tear down a home like a like a one story like like actual house. You can, you can literally walk through a wall by yourself and go. I'll deal with you later. You can no. like, you can lift like, the like, entire like, town with your pinky as current that size. Okay, okay uh, uh, let, me, let, right. me put it, let me put it this way, Tiny. Let me put it this way, Tiny. Uh, do you know the fucking... Uh, do you know we punch out? Yeah. You're mad. Remember, remember the uh, intro to um, Sandman's title defense thing where he breaks the building by punching it? That's you! Oh! Yeah, I never really... I've never used strength as a stat. This is the first time, so I am not understanding my power. <laughs> Uh, with that being said, yeah. Um, if you would like to pull the blade out, I'm going to need a saving throw from Azonis. He's going to need to make a constitution saving throw. Give me a haunt. I'm a also haunt. going to need you to make an athletics check. You, okay. don't, you don't need to worry about constitution saving throws. I have a six constitution save, and I've got Flash of Genius. Okay. Right, so if, if, you were, of genius if, if you're yes. good, if you're good, I can not use enhance. I could just opt to not use enhance ability to ensure your safety. You know that what? Being, Fucking so. ensure my safety. Yeah, no, no, I mean, like, I wanted to, but you started like, hey, no, I got it's this, all bro. It's good. Let me see. Um, in that case, uh, Bear's Endurance, I'm patting you on the shoulder, and I'm spending double to make it a bonus action. Uh, so that's... Ah, six magic points in the... in, in the... Ubity Smurf. It's, uh, Bear's Endurance lets you have advantage on constitution checks, and also gives you two E6 temporary hit points. Uh, well, that, uh, okay, that's not what I... To the, per, to the person you touch. Fuck, never mind, I'm eating garbage. Uh, to the but it's fine, the 2d6 temporary hit points might help. With I'm that being beans. said... <laughs> I'm eating beans, but with that being said, uh, allow me to engage in athletics. Four <sighs> temp hits. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And advantage on constitution saves. Yeah. No, it's is it saves? Or yes, it's it's constitution it's, 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 okay. it's, it's checks. Constitution oh. check. checks. Checks. Yeah, 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 I thought it was saves. And okay, check. so this. Check. Oh, okay. Then that, that that my unbug. So, yes. Yes. Okay. Cool. All right, let's get at it. Let's get let's, so, let's get active. Don't don't pull too high. Just keep it low and steady. Forward Understood. push. Okay. Understood. Understood. I Tell promise. If you feel any pain. Fucking plan. I am feeling a lot of pain right now. We will get through that. We will get. I promise you, we will get through that. That's on this. Pull it. All right, let's get it. Yeah. All right. I need an uh, athletics check to pull this out. They did. Oh that yeah, I did one. And this is her. going to be an emphasis roll. Oh. So I make I make a Constitution save. Nope. 
You'll find oh. out in a second. That's my first emphasis roll of ever. I'm scared. Left or right? Left or right? And I'm gonna need uh, your strength and your acrobatic, your straight, uh, your athletic score. Okay. Uh, athletics is plus seven because I have proficiency and my strength is okay. eighteen. Uh, okay. So, left or right? I myself am. Uh, I'm biased towards things that go to the right. So right dice. All right. Zonus. Can I have a constitution saving throw, please? This is at advantage because of Bear's Endurance? Mm -hmm. It is at advantage because of oh. Bear's Endurance. <laughs> Not that you yeah. needed it. <laughs> didn't even need it. Not Damn, did, did you... <laughs> no, I have... did need it. Because that could have very well been the 7. That's true. Okay. That's true. It could have been the yeah. 7. So, Asterius. What's up? As you pull, right? Yes. You tug and you tug as hard as you can on this blade. You start to feel like you're not um, doing what it is you needed to do, right? Yeah. You feel like whatever you're doing is actually hurting uh, Izonis. I'm sad. I did it. In the back of your voice, your head, you hear a voice. Now, come on. Is that really all that you've got? Huh? Okay. I por thought favor. we were better together. Por favor, okay? No comprende? <sighs> I guess... I guess I could help you one last time. <gasps> oh, oh. And, um... You all watch as, like, sparkles <laughs> appear on her hands. You can make an athletics check at advantage for me. Your strength score for this check is a 23. <laughs> it's the Mr. Ted! I love and you, you have a flight speed equal to your walking speed for the next minute. Let's fucking go. Okay, let's do this. And bef when you go to make your pull, yeah, she says one last thing to you. Yeah. Don't say I ever didn't. I didn't ever do anything for you. I would have never said that even if someone they paid me. <laughs> I knew you were the one. I flash that and one. with the flash, yeah. with the increased score, it is a Watch nineteen, me. just Watch enough to pull that out without hurting. Now, let us, and let us, let I would like to tell you, yeah, you are now holding a weapon that is 5d6 plus 8 when it hits. <laughs> I am, I'm writing that down. <laughs> Don't forget, I, if you use your smite, you see more damage. Damage. Holy <laughs> shit. That's what base damage, by the way. You smite some more. Mysterious. <laughs> uh, now, now let us I deal with that wound. I hate to keep imposing upon you. I do not worry. This that was your action. I will allow in this exact situation for you yeah. to be able to use your new feature. Oh, baby, you spoiled me. Uh, so wait. So my feature. Uh, you all uh, watch as. Mean, right? Yeah, you all watch as Asterius kneels down and holds her hand out to Bazonas as these brilliant blue fire like angel wings appear behind her. <laughs> Please show us the feature one more time. Okay, the feature, intervene. Uh, so, uh, temp HP equal to one roll of your hit dice. So, I need you to roll a d10 plus your constitution modifier. So, seven. Oh. As long as he hits 7 temp HP, which is enough to get him at least somewhat there. Yeah. This is added to the 4 temp HP, meaning he eats the... No, no it goes no, to it's, 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 it's over. It's, it's over. So it's, so it's yeah, seven. 7. Yeah. Oh, as so as that means he's only going to eat 3 necrotic at the start of turn. Oh, shit. No, yeah, the I blade know. isn't in you anymore. Oh, okay, never mind. We're good. Yeah. We're good. We're good. She's holding on to it, however. She has it. Okay. Well, that, that's the thing? <laughs> I'm... What? 
Yeah. You're holding it, however. Is it, like, really, really heavy, or is it like, this is Oh, fine. no, it does not feel heavy to you. To you, yeah, it's specifically... In it's, fact... It's, like, cloud with his buster sword. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Strong. In fact... I am an empowered woman. You're in the situation where you feel like you could do anything. Because then you can fly, too, now, remember? I would like you... So... To activate under the effect, or to act under the effect of an action surge. Oh! I beg your fucking pardon. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh my ah! god. Mm. So yeah, wait. because you can cast a spell and then use your bonus action to use your starry form. So, no, it's, it's a starry form, it's a separate thing. So what I'm hearing is, so action surge, I've never used it, I don't know what's So you're going to get I an extra action and an extra bonus action. Do with that information what you will. <laughs> this is all of the abilities you never got to see Mistleton give you. Let's fucking go. I... Damn. That's all I gotta say. Uh, so, <laughs> I, there's no way I'm going to manage to use Lay on Hands and to get to smack the bitch in the head. Uh, no. And I, I want to smack the bitch in the head really hard. Go for uh, it. So what I'm gonna do is instead I'm burning four magic spell I'm burning four spell points. As your uh, bonus action to use. Yeah. Um, your wounds or lay on hands. Uh, wait. Well, how, uh, and I was gonna. I can use lay on hands as a bonus action. Oh no, healing word. My bad. Oh no. Yeah, I'm using cure wounds. Yeah. Okay. So seven more healing. As soon yeah. as you watch as your little wound closes up on your chest. Little. Feel. You feel. Uh. <laughs> Significantly like shit, but less like shit. What would a big wound be then? Don't fucking worry about me. So long as that thing is still focused on me, we've got bigger problems. Get the hells, okay? Understood. I'll be fine. And, uh, uh, okay, I have a fly of speed, so I can just run up and smack the bitch, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I, I am full on, uh, like... Rah! I'm coming at it. And... Yeah, so um... The, uh, so, to hit is plus 13. Ah! Oh. I need okay. you to roll a 1d20 plus 6 plus 13 to hit. Plus 6 plus 13? So I need you to roll a 1d20 plus 19 to hit. <laughs> huh? That's a 26 to hit. <laughs> it's the 26 to hit. Yes. It does hit it. So that's the thing I wrote down earlier, 5d6 plus 8. Yeah, that's damage. 5d6 plus 8. Base damage, but you can also smite. <laughs> oh, I'm smiting. Yeah. Don't, don't you ever get it twisted. There is a catch here. What's up? 23. You feel when you grip down on the blade that there's this surge of magic that comes through you. I just recognize the fucking music right now. Yeah. What's the music? Yeah. Um, <laughs> you get a three. Yeah. Your next smite deals the maximum damage it can deal. Okay, so a two. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. So a divine smite is a two d eight. Yes. Yeah, um, you can, can upcast it. You can upcast it. You can yeah. upcast it if you'd like. Uh, upcast oh, yeah, the highest divine level smite spends and then your spell max slot. damage. It deals the maximum damage it can deal at your level. Okay, so, so it I, will deal 2d8 at first level. Because yeah. you have a second level spell slot, it will heal 3d8. So it's going to deal 24 damage outright. And it doesn't burn your bonus action to smite either. Okay. <laughs> so... Inspiring smite as well. Can I... Yeah, mm -hmm. I can I can do a second level smite. I still have five spell points, I think, yes? Yep. Yeah, cool. I'm smiting this bitch at second level, so that's how many d8s? Two. Uh, three, three d8. Three. Yeah. Three. Okay, cool. Slash roll. You don't need to roll anything. It's max damage. Remember? Yeah, it's oh, twenty-four you're, damage. Oh, you're right. It's just I'm twenty-four damage. I'm, I'm bugging. So honor. You're, you're honor. Forty-seven, and you still have your extra attack with a free smite. You're right. Uh, wait, another free smite? Yeah. So. The next one will have to be rolled. Okay, that's yeah, that's fine. Cool. So, uh, 
That first one though, that first smite. Mm. Fuck, okay, it's who schools of thought. Do I go ham with me or do I Yes? Do it. Well, cause like a peerless athlete or inspiring smite. Either I'm here for my friends or I'm gonna kick the fuck out of you. <laughs> oh. Go for it. Do whatever. Yeah, you want. fuck it, y'all. I know what you try to do. I love all of you right now. I am focusing on my duty, and that is kicking the dog shit out of this thing. So, that was fine. Uh, so, uh, Channel of Entity, Peerless Athlete. Okay. Uh, so, here's bonus. the thing. Actually, that's a bonus action, so can I? So, here's the thing. What's up? Your Channel Divinity is different. Okay. Your Channel Divinity is Phase Wrath. What? Your next weapon attack deals its maximum damage. Huh? I Fucking sorry. I yeah. should have buried that fucking sword. I'm so upset. I, 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 I'm, so? I should have put a ring on it. Hot oh, damn it. It's so, it let's so, go so back to that. It's okay. going to be 38 damage flat. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to roll that attack. I need you to still need to roll the attack. A 29 that hits. Whoa. Cool. And then Mary the max Mother damage. Joseph. And then the 3d8. For the smite. Yep. You have to roll the 38, that's for sure. That is 38 plus 16, so that's going to be 54. You all watch as Asterius kind of closes her eyes for a moment and erupts in this blue fire. Just absolutely pissed. This large like room shaking roar utters from her mouth as she draws this blade back and strikes this creature hard enough to get it to move. It takes three steps back from the first hit and the second one knocks it to its knees. It is considered prone. Gamers, kick that right. bitch's ass. Good job, good job. It's time for an all-out attack. I've been waiting for this. Do you have this. anything to say to this creature? Uh, I am going to, in response... Like, think about everything that you just watched it do. Yeah, uh, it's fucking... I, I'm bad at thinking up cool shit to say, so I... Can I just my have a character is... have JD say something to suggest? Well, no, I got it. Uh, okay. I'm going to point. Well, I'm going to do what it fucking did to my teammate. I'm gonna level my blade at it. Just point down, and I'm going to say, "It looks like uh, you misplaced this." Okay, that's a great. Allow one. me to put. Allow me to put it right inside of your fucking chest. <laughs> do you drive it in? Uh, that yeah, that's the, the goal. That is that's the, the second hit right there. Okay, I think cool. It's the first time she's fucking sworn. Ever. That's the first time she's sworn. Yeah. You all watch as she drives the blade in through the beast's core, and the cloud of darkness erupts out of it. Jason goes, "Yes, perfect." Mama Bear's angry. I don't know how you did it, but that's what we needed to do. <laughs> and he lifts his hand up and starts to siphon it into his body. Uh, Asterius, as oh. soon as you finish that statement and let go of the blade, you collapse. Take a level of exhaustion. That's fine. I'm up right now. I will take that. That's fine. And that is the end of combat. Oh. What? Oh my god. What? I'm, I'm fucking sorry. <laughs> I, 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 a dead ass? No, no, dead ass. I thought we were about to have like an all-out attack from fucking Persona. Like, I've been waiting for this and like, you know, do the flash screen and then whatever. Honestly, That's I was it? Thinking, I was thinking that kind of too, actually. You just one-shot it? Yeah, I think so. I what? came up, I smacked the bitch, and now it's done. What to tell the you the truth, you all only needed to do like a hundred or so damage to it out of its 550 HP. Okay. Okay. Fair. Just to get it to like stagger for a moment. Okay then. Um. I feel strong. I'm an empowered You all woman. watch as Asterius like staggers for a moment and then passes out. And she kind of loses balance and slips in the Oh. Yeah. Am I having a... Um, um, uh... 
Can I make a dex save to try to catch her? Do you want to try to fall into the volcano? I can fly, remember? I have an idea! It's been more than a minute. The dowry. It's fucking gigantic. Yeah? Can it move to grab her? It can make a dex check. Specifically, acrobatics. Can I, can I at least try? Um, uh, you are on the opposite end of the arena. Okay. There's a bonus action somewhere. Even though I can reach her, alright. No matter what, I'll just have a Heihachi moment, hopefully, and I'll just Actually, not die. Actually, hold on. I don't even <laughs> need to do that. Temporal so. displacement matrix. I will have the fucking dowry land in between that gap since it's in Zonus's line of sight and have her land on the fucking thing. No. Yeah? Hell yeah. fucking yet. All right, temporal displacement matrix. This thing's going to plug the fucking hole. Welcome <laughs> aboard the Zonus Express. <laughs> Let's go. There you go. Are we getting soft tacos later? <laughs> Ah, shawarma. Right. Uh, I actually do want shawarma. Rubian food does not set well on his own as a stomach. He has a very sensitive palate. He would not be able to handle tacos. So, you haven't, you just haven't had the right kind of taco. What? That's the sad music. Asterius. Mm -hmm. When you're out cold, you find yourself sitting in that field of flowers. Think to yourself, dead? Mm -hmm. And what? you feel, you think to yourself, am I dead? Mm -hmm. Is this it? Is this what waits for me? And you feel a little tug at the uh, end of your cloak. Looking back at you is Mistletoe, as she once was. Uh, so, hold on. Just for logistics. Mistleton's, like, avatar was, like, half my height. Like, child, right? Yes. I'm immediately sliding on my fucking knees and giving them, like, the biggest hug. <laughs> hey! You don't have to do that. I... I know, but... The last time we spoke was not on good terms. And... I missed you, no matter how much I wanted not to. I missed you too. But... This is just an imprint. I must go, Mysterious. I know... I... I know this is... Probably not... Some... Lucky shot at getting to apologize again, but I just. <sighs> she just puts her finger to your lip and kisses you on the forehead. Mm -hmm. No, you're sorry. I wanted to see you grow. I got to do that. And you watch as she lifts her hand up in front of you and that sort of starry little pixie dust that you radiated was going away. Mm. You will always be in my heart. No matter what. And You're the you first my... person I genuinely cherished. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mistletem. I will miss you. Oh, and she steps out of your arms. But before I go, I want to give you a new name. Yes? Come. Kneel. Your name Bow is your head. Your name is not Tom, yeah. <laughs> I, I do it without question. I'm already, like, down she there. Brings, she brings the blade form of Mistletem back. And she taps you on either side of your shoulder. 
On this day, you will not just be known as Asterius of the Many Stripes. And she stops, taps the blade on your forehead, and brings your chin to meet her gaze. Our Asterius of the Many Stripes. The first person I ever loved. Mm. The last. The tears are not stopping anytime soon. Uh, Bye, my dear. If you say it to be so, it is so. May he guide you on your path. May you live like the bright star that you are. I promise to do my best. Seek glory in every opportunity. Know that I will watch you with a smile. Last vestige of me is gone from your heart. And this is when Asterius jumps to back to life, gripping a piece of the blade that was once mistletoe in her hand. Tears rolling down her face. And you all watch as she kind of curls up and clutches this piece of mistletoe close to her chest. The dowry kind of lands next to Azonas and gently sets her down. This paragon of happy and glory. Finally coming to grips with what she lost. And that, my friends, is where we're going to end the session. <laughs> Hot Fuck, damn it. dude. <laughs> Motherfucker, hot damn you. Oh. I you like. Know, he said one more thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, one more thing. Absolutely. This last thing, and then we will end the session. Oh, my God. So, Shiel watches the dowry put Asterius down and scuttles over because she was already by his own as making sure he was okay. Uh, so she kind of shuffles over on her butt, and as she's laying there, Shiel will slowly reach out to like touch her forehead and then reach her arms around for a big hug. Immediate purring of like, thank you. I am right now in hell, but I appreciate this crying and actually Shiel, crying. It's crying. Because you are so sensitive to uh, magic, what she is holding is the last vestige of the blade known as Mistleton. Ouch. It is the core of what made the blade Mistleton. And a tear rolls down your cheek as you watch as all of the magic leaves it. Gonna continue to <laughs> comfort a serious <laughs> like Both of just starts sobbing. Yeah. As she holds him, she's like, it's okay. It's okay. It's alright. It'll be okay. Everything's gonna be fine. Uh, I hate to break Everything up this. hurts. Everything Even hurts. My soul. So my soul uh, is guys, ripped we're gonna out of my Kino. body. Crying as much will probably be bad for your health. I don't got enough fucking dishes for what's going on. This session has been fucking emotional. Dude. Yeah. I, that was. I want you to know, Rescue. Not only was that an emotional roller coaster of feeling like, holy shit, I am woman to should, God. Should I stop the recording now? I cannot describe mm, how many tears there have, that has been fallen. It's like actually, like you, you actually got me fucking like close to crying. I am not gonna, I'm not gonna hold you. 
after everyone kind of pulls themselves back together and they walk down the mountainside, um, a familiar face meets all of you at the end of it. Uh, maybe a bit more weathered and worse for wear. Uh, the monk from the Adventurer's Guild no. seems to be waiting for you all. Hey, been a while. Why is everyone's eyes bloodshot? Yeah, must be the sulfur. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, it's the sulfur, yeah. Sure. We've been through hells, nonetheless. I had heard that um, you might have been in the area of Yassam, and uh, I wanted to meet with all of you as heroes and friends, but more so personally. I imagine you all are on something right now, but whenever you get a moment, I'd like you to answer a request for me. It's personal. Understood. We will... I promise you we will do our best to get to it as soon as possible. Well, what's the request? As you can tell, he kind of gestures behind him. Shadow is no longer here. Well, that's not good. He's, uh... He's been... taken. Wait, what? Who? Wait, who's been taken? Flux. The small one with the... Yeah, Flux. The guy that was, like, kind of... Yeah, I was wondering where that guy was. Oh, yeah, that guy. Fuck. God, it's been so long. So long. There's this e aching sort of thought in the back of my head. He never was quite like you or I, but can't help but wonder if he might have been a target of some kind. Target of who? Did he have any uh, outspoken enemies? We all have an enemy in common. Silas. Exactly. That bastard Silas. I don't expect you to find him overnight. But I want to know. Have you all seen Silas in your journeys? Has he been around? Not aside really. from the night and. I can. No, wait, we know. We've been chasing shadows, vestiges, you see, but nothing direct, unfortunately. Okay. I'd like to join you. Not as a member in the field, but as someone who could look on the other side. You all are. I could try to find information in other places. Together we could track him down. Situation. If you all are willing for the help. I'd say more than merrier, honestly. Kind of retired at this point. Especially with Flux being taken, there's no reason for me to hold up the new blood anymore. Circumstances of the retirement were better, I'd say congratulations. Yeah. But I do have one thing to say. Hmm. My name isn't just Azur. Wall watch. Azur drops this magic and polymorphs himself into a large silvery blue scale dragon. Oh. Hey. I am one of the last 
I am the old great one, Azura Soul. And that is where we end the session. Okay, now we end the session. Yeah, now, but... now, now I can stop recording or? Oh, yes. Jesus. Bye.